Meanwhile, back in the products workspace, taking a look at our product, that, which is still under the, uh, the concept state, if I take a look at the tasks and deliverables tab, we can see that we have our two tasks that we created bottom up, number 18 and number 19, and we've shifted. The workflow state is updated here on the first task we created, the shifting of the milestone on the second, and here's the one that we added out in the task workspace and it attached itself here. So it's laying out nicely inside of the Gantt chart and you can keep on adding to this. Now, the next step, let's take a look at what it takes to actually close one of these out and get the status percent complete to update. Back in the task, the very first one that we created, we can see on the milestones tab, there is a workflow progress percentage over here. Now by closing out this and, and clicking on complete, the status is going to go to milestone event reached, effectively closing this task, and now we're at 100%. So let's return back to the products workspace and see it update. All right, back to the product and back to the task and deliverables tab. We can see that the first task that we added here, the workflow state is listed here as complete. We've met the milestone at 100%. It even fills in letting us know that we're complete there. So the exciting part about this is these were individual tasks that I created and I advanced the workflow and adjusted, but this could be a team. This could be a delegation of tasks and activities that you send to other people within your company or outside of your company. And you're able to see everything inside of one complete high level mashup of all the tasks, all the activities that it takes to get a particular product or project uh, through PLM and ultimately out the door and into production.